Okay, guys, look what we found here. We've just come outside the house and we've got a golden orbweb spider. Now, these are harmless spiders that belong to the family Arenomorphs. And that means they're arboreal, they live in the trees, spread their webs, and live in their webs. And their flat fangs um, are sideways grabbing. They go from side right to left and they grab. There's another family of spiders, which are the hunting spiders, and they're, called, they're from a family of myglomorphs, where their fangs go down and up, and they pierce their prey. These ones grab their prey sideways. Anyway, these golden orbweb spiders are totally harmless. This is a beautiful female. They're large like this. You can see if I put my hand, you'll be able to sort of see in comparison to my finger the size of her. She is big, but totally harmless. And they build big spider webs with a golden silk. Um, the silk is a nice golden colour and usually on their web is a male and the male is about a hundred times smaller than the female and if you can see, I don't know if my camera is going to focus in, there's the male, just there. In fact he was trying his luck just now and in fact he was mating with her. But males have to be very careful because they're a hundred times smaller than she is, she eats them. So they have to be quick and get out of the way. Now, golden orbweb spiders can actually make a web up to a meter in diameter, a meter wide, which is pretty impressive, hey? They also believe that this silk, um, there goes the male, he's going up the, up the web now. I don't know if you can see him. No, it's not very easy with this sun. There he is. They reckon that maybe the silk is a yellow or golden colour, but they use it to, because it's so important to them, um, the golden colour reflects in the sun and it perhaps stops birds flying into it and damaging it. That's one theory. Um, but it is a beautiful golden colour, but we can't really see it in this, this light. But she is gorgeous. Golden orbweb spider. The fascinating thing is, when her eggs hatch, the spidlings hatch out and they leave the nest and they leave it by a method called ballooning. Quite fun, they string a, a spin a little string of silk which is attached to the abdomens and then they go off, take off in the wind and float to wherever the wind takes them. It's called ballooning, that would be quite fun have to move house. Fascinating. Don't have to go far and you find interesting wildlife. I'm just trying to see if I can, you're not really going to be able to see that web very easily. But anyway, there she is. Lovely golden orb web spider. Oh, and the male is going up again. He's trying his luck again by the looks of it. He's got to be very careful because he will be eaten. Okay, here's a couple of photos of the male balancing on the female's abdomen. Quite amazing. Okay, guys, this is another one we've just found. At the other side of our house, another huge female. But what's fascinating this one, you can actually see she's got a really nice big food store here. All sorts of legs of grasshoppers and crickets all gathered up here in the middle of her web, ready for her to eat. Oops, I've just disturbed her. Excuse me. You can actually see the nice golden reflection on this now. If you look, you can see. Yeah. These spider webs are huge and the silk is very, very strong. So it's nice to see all this food. She's got a good food store. It's fascinating to see what she's caught. There's some flies in there. Um, there's a leg. 
maybe a cricket. Yeah, and I won't disturb her. I hope you enjoyed learning about the golden orb web spiders. We'll see if we can find some different sorts of spiders for you.